what is up my rat is literally i've been, been brainstorming all night here's hold on let me tell okay guys so i was brainstorming what i should do down there i used propane torch heated up wasn't doing anything and i wondered if i was going the right way for this on the left side of the manifold it was the opposite way of on the right which doesn't make sense to me, but maybe it does because I think they're countersinked because there's this weird um, little washer like welded to it or something. I don't know. It's like a piece. So what I did was I put the socket wrench in. It's a 12 millimeter, and this is to help you guys out if you have any questions. It's what this whole video is for. And I started tightening it, and I could feel it was tightening, but that's what I wanted to do anyways because I wanted to kind of break it up. So I was tightening it, then I started loosening it, and it started to come right out. WD-40 is your best friend, but this isn't even WD-40. I wanted something that was stronger and really good, so I used brake fluid. You guys are gonna be like, what the heck? Trust me, anything that's like this, uh, viscosity works really well. Didn't have WD-40 anyways laying around, so that is what saved me. This bolt finally, or this nut finally came off the bolt. I'm gonna show you guys what I have left. Um, shout out, shout out to the PRZ Finance. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll just show you guys his account to shout him out because he's been helping me through this all. Um, and he's told me a lot of stuff. Go follow him on Instagram. His account is PRZ Finance 21. His name's Edwin. He really has helped me out a lot. He has a project. Gen 3 GLI, just like me. This is a Gen 3 engine. But um, basically, this is what I have to show you guys. So, I just accomplished that. If you guys can see, just accomplished that one on top. I have the bottom one soaking, even though I have no idea how I'm going to get it out because it's in between a line. And the other one is really far down there. And I'm thinking I need to take the shield off to get it out. So um, I'm going to attempt to get the shield out. Edwin told me to pull the, the spark plugs and everything, the pack, to pull the turbo from the top. Um, and I might do that. I'm not sure. But for now, I need to tackle everything down below. Um, I'll let you guys know as I go along. But that's kind of where we're at right now. I'll show you guys the bottom of the, the lines out still like I told you guys yesterday the bracket I actually dropped yesterday too I don't know if you guys can see that I'll zoom up on it where it is on post but remove the bracket that holds the turbo down there I'm <sighs> not sure what else I can really tackle underneath here I wanted to pull all the bolts um, to release um, the cold side from the hot side and then I could pull the cold side out separate but I'm thinking it's almost gonna be easier to do it all at once that shield up there has a weird like uh, that star bit looking thing and it hasn't been wanting to come out that's why it's still on there because it's like into the block but I think maybe if I spray it now with that stuff that stuff's really working um, and the other two turbo bolts are closest to me, but they're really stuck in there uh, behind the turbo. So that's going to be the most interesting part of this. Um, other than that, you guys are pretty much caught up to speed with what's going on. All right, guys, to catch you up, hopefully you can see this. I don't know. Maybe you can't. Um, but right there um, is the clamp. Holds the hot to the cold, got that one off. These oil drains are gonna have to come off down there instead of up top. I wanna go up top now and get this off to make sure. And maybe from the top I can shimmy the hot off of the cold side. I think that's how it could work. I know there's a bolt right there that's holding the turbo on, but the lines need to come off first before I can do that. But I also want to make sure everything on top is good. So we're going to take that off the top. And then lower it off of here from the bottom. 
All right, guys, another quick update. Uh, my cousin stopped by and I showed him everything that's going on. Uh, we got both bolts off, like I said, on the top. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get to the bottom because it's like almost impossible. Under here now, there's the turbo. I'm continually looking for more things that I can do to like loosen it up. All right, guys, just got back from seeing Kevin another day just to make sure he's in a lot of pain. So please pray for him. Uh, he got this bolt in his uh, pelvis because he broke his pelvis on both sides. So he has four screws, two connecting and then two just in place. And he's in a lot of pain today. He was not in a good mood. So please pray for him. I got the third one out. If you guys are about to do this, make sure that you have all the necessary tools, all socket wrenches, but you also want to have wrenches too, just regular flat wrenches. No way you can get a socket wrench. It's just not possible. There's that much room and that much for a socket wrench. So it just didn't work. Uh, so I'm putting something around it to uh, protect the teeth so that it doesn't booger up the uh, actual nut. See, like I actually did good. Uh, for the most part. Now the last one has been sitting with WD-40 uh, brake fluid mix for the whole time that I was there, which we were gone for like three hours. So um, also definitely you need that WD-40 and um, brake fluid because it works to loosen up the bolts. That's what I've been doing. Just in, it's just in a tire wet. Trust me, it's not tire wet, guys. Don't worry. And the last one is uh down in there so i'm gonna have to reach down and get get it and then we'll be done winds southerly at about 15 with gusts to 25 miles an hour barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising and no precipitation we're about a half inch behind Correction, half inch ahead for the year, and one and fifty-three hundredths behind. For All right, guys, all bolts off, except that one you guys see. I definitely need a regular wrench for it. I've been trying to use pliers, and the other one was loose, so I could easily get it with the pliers. That one won't come off, so um, I'm gonna have to get that off tomorrow. What are you doing? I thought I was gonna be able to get done closer to this, but um, I don't have a 12 millimeter or equivalent um, wrench. I only have a couple. I didn't think I would need um, anything other than socket wrenches. That's why I told you guys that you're definitely gonna need um, something different. Let me tell you guys what, I do love Volkswagen and everything, and I don't care how much you love them. They have shit in the worst crammed spots ever. It would be so awesome if they could design a turbo that actually had some way of repairing or doing it yourself like with that in mind like almost like a tuner car because this is absolutely impossible literally it is so hard to get things in and out of the spaces that they provide it's almost like I don't even know how they got it in in the first place um, so I'm gonna go to my dad's tomorrow get a wrench for this finish it up um, that's all I'm gonna do for today because I don't really have any time left and it's getting really late so part three will be up and it'll be the final turbo removal I hope this guy at least helps you with a little bit um, I'll see you guys in the next video and as always make sure to be happy stress less and I'll see you in the next one